Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today we are going to be doing a fashion to figure try on haul. I am so incredibly excited for this haul. I literally just did an Old Navy try on and a Kato try on and I was just dragging. I was like, I'm just not into this. I just don't want to do this. And then I started going through my fashion to figure box and I started getting excited and I'm like, yes, because everything Everything in this haul is so my style. And when I get things that are my style, obviously I'm like more excited to try it on than something that's not my style. Um, but I do things that aren't my style because this isn't everyone's style. My style isn't everyone's style. Although I do think that we pretty much have maybe similar styles if you guys are watching me. But I digress. I'm so excited for this haul. I have only shot fashion and figure one time before and that was for the Sarah Ray Vargas collection. So I have actually personally never shot their actual like their own collection. I mean obviously that was like a separate collection that Sarah Ray Vargas designed. So it wasn't entirely my style um, but this stuff totally is and I'm a big fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and step back so you guys can see. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. You know the drill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and step back and we will start talking about this outfit right here. Okay, are we ready for Valentine's Day? This top is so cute. Oh my gosh, it is so sweet and just so pretty. The only complaint that I have about it is that these straps they tie like how cute is that though they are straps that tie but they are no way shape or form like protected in any way and they can very easily untie so i think what you would do if you were to get this top is to go ahead and put it in your perfect position and then just sew, sew a little stitch in it so that way it can stay and you're like good to go this top is so cute though. It's black with little red hearts. It has like the ruching right here in the chest. Oh my gosh, it has a little bit of a peplum. And I always talk about shirts not having elastic underneath the boobs. I feel like for this shirt, it's not as bad though. Those ones from Torrid that I got, y'all, they made me look like, whoo! <laughs> I was like, yeah, no. Um, these jeans, these jeans, I didn't really, I wasn't really crazy about the jeans from the Sarah Ray Vargas collection. I felt like they were just kind of like, eh. And for them being like $60, I was really kind of like, eh, because I didn't think they were $60 worthy jeans. Um, these I feel, feel a little bit better. And I'm more, I'm more prone to spend a little bit more on a jean if it's unique or if it's different or... Um, you know, with Torrid and their bombshell jeans. I love the fact that they have the elastic in on the inside, so I'm more open to spending a little bit more on their jeans than I am just a regular pair of jeans that I feel I can get at, like, Fashion Nova or Burlington or something like that. Um, these jeans, I feel like, are they're, they're really good quality. Um, they do bunch up at the bottom, of course. I'm 5'4". Um... My issue with them is I love the fact, because cargo, oh my gosh, you guys, I used to wear cargo jeans like they were going out of style. When was that? Was it early 2000s? I want to say it was like early 2000s. Cargo jeans were everywhere. Cargo jeans, cargo pants. So you have like this little pocket right here, and they were just so cute, and everyone wore them. And when I saw these, I was like, Oh my gosh, I have to get them. But right here, it's just, it's weird on me. It, the fabric kind of billows out and it's not the most flattering. I love these pockets though. These pockets are so cute. They don't kind of like, you know how side pockets, a lot of the times they'll bunch up right here and they'll be like, uh. They don't, these don't do that. I love side pockets like this for, I don't know what it is. I think I, you feel dressier because most dress pants have the side pockets. I don't know. This is what they look like in the back. They fit me really great with the exception of how they fit right there. But everywhere else, I think they fit amazing. They're size 24, I believe. And I will link all of this stuff down below, by the way. 
Um, yeah. By the way, Fashion Invader is a little bit pricier. This shirt alone is $50, size 3. So everything is going to be either size 3 or size 24. And I will link all of my sizes along with all of the links down below in the description box. So, I'm excited for this haul, y'all. I'm excited for it. I also want to mention, I don't think that this shirt goes that great with these jeans. I don't think that they're, no. With this, with this shirt, you might want to do like um, some cute distressed jeans or some red jeans. That'd be really cute. So yeah, I don't think the two go well together, but separately, I like them. Okay, this shirt is a size 2X, so it's a little bit more form-fitting, but I actually really, really like it. It fits amazing, it feels amazing. Um, okay, I'm like, wait, something's going on here. It was a little messed up. Um, off the shoulder, I love this little, like, loop right here that it's got going on and it kind of like has this fabric uh just spaghetti straps i don't think they're adjustable though and then it's ribbed long sleeve really really love this top um it's probably like 50 dollars. i would say it's not a 50 dollar worthy top i don't i wouldn't say that's the price i'm not sure but um if fashion and vigor has like coupon codes or something like that they don't i don't i don't work with them so i don't have one um, but I always look on websites to see for coupon codes. Okay, on to these. These are their jeggings, and I will have to say, wow, the quality on these jeggings are really, really exceptional. They have a nice wide um, waistband, and they really do like a good job of like really holding you in. They don't, because they're jeggings, they're literally just pull up. You don't have any buttons or any zippers or anything to mess around with. Um, they do have real pockets in the front and in the back. And these are also distressed, which is super cute. But as with most pants, these are actually really bad as far as how much they bunch up. So I'm not a fan of that look at all. Um, other than that, I think they're great. They're not, like, this isn't the most flattering color on me, but I do like the fact that they have different colors of jeans because I love me some jeans, and I also love to wear colorful jeans, like different colors of jeans. So, yeah, I love this top, too. It's just, it's ribbed, it's soft, it feels great. Um, some of you are probably going to say it's too tight. I actually really like the way that it looks and fits. So this is a good haul, y'all. This is a real good haul. So I normally don't like red, and I normally don't do a whole lot of red, but with Valentine's Day coming up, I was like, this is going to be the perfect shirt to share. Um, however, I don't really love it on me. I love the shirt. I don't love how it looks on me. It has, like, all of the aspects in a shirt that I love from the fact that it's, like, see-through with the nude up underneath, off the shoulder, lace, um, well not lace, but mesh, ruching, just beautiful, but this is a size two, no this is size three, and it's just entirely too tight, really, really don't like the way that it looks on me, um, but it is a really, really cute, cute top, like I, it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. And then here I have the jeggings in white. These are also distressed. Um, as you can see, they are also bunched up at the bottom, but I feel they don't look as bad in the white as they did in the pink. So same aspects um, as the other ones. Uh, real pockets in the front and the back. Nice, wide, thick um, waistband. And that's the way they look in the back. This shirt is beautiful. I love the sleeves and how big they are. They're kind of like bat wing sleeves. This is a really sexy top, but sometimes really sexy tops are just really uncomfortable. And this one is not uncomfortable at all. It has, it's banded at the bottom which a lot of times I normally don't like, but I love it with this top. 
I feel this top is so incredibly flattering. You have the elastic right here in the back. And then, like I said, the big billowy sleeves. And then it's also very, like, it goes down all the way here. This all the way through is, like, open. But I love the way that it just kind of lays. And you can, if you're looking real hard, you can see my bra right there. But, I mean, I'm just put, like, a little safety pin. Um, it also has, like, this little design right here. It's really, really pretty. The only thing, and it's just a thing that's a little minor, I feel for some reason, guess the way it drapes over the boobs or whatever, I feel like it makes my boobs look really small, like almost like I don't have any. Um, but other than that, this top is beautiful. When I turn to the side, I mean, obviously you can see that I have some, but from the front, I feel like it makes me look really flat chested. I think it's just the illusion. But yeah, I love, love this top. I am obsessed with it. Okay, so this top is really basic, but it's basic in a really, really good way. It is incredibly soft. You guys remember like back in the day when you used to play with felt in kindergarten? That's what it feels like. It feels like felt. I don't know what the material is on this, but it's very, very soft. It's also stretchy, which is nice. And then, oh, I am just obsessed with this neckline. This neckline is so incredibly flattering. So you have just a little tiny poof on the sleeve, just a little bit, not too accentuated or too much. It's just a little bit to add just a little something to an otherwise basic black top. And then you also have this neckline. This is like, I don't know, like a piece of plastic or something in there to make it so it's like sturdy oh, this is oh, this top is good i need this top in a short sleeve in a different material so it's lighter for the spring and summer and somehow i also need it in like a, a tank top style this is a good top oh my gosh i just i'm obsessed with this silhouette i think it's so so beautiful i think it's so flattering the black with the white looks so good together this is one of those basic outfits that's not so basic and it's really just like wow i love it a lot the color of this blouse is so incredibly beautiful i want to see cobalt blue so much more and so many more different places i just don't find it enough and when i do i always snatch it up um, but this shirt is just, it's not me. It, it's totally me, but it's not me. <laughs> it totally hits in a place where it just makes me look pregnant. And I kind of like tried adjusting it to like make it longer or make it shorter. And I feel just like no matter what, what I do, it just makes me look pregnant. Um, it also is a little low cut, which again, that's not an issue. Uh, this does fit great other than that. Like, other than the fact that it makes me look pregnant, it looks great, it fits great, size 3, has a little belt, It's kind of, it has those little, wait, what's going on here, here we go, it has the little sleeves that are a little more exaggerated, um, as far as like the puffiness, but so cute, you've got the peplum, um, it's light and airy, but it's also really good quality, so I really do love this just unfortunately not on me. So this is our one and only dress in the whole entire haul and it is, I love it, I love it. You have this little gold belt right here that you can take off if you want to. You also have, I love this, I think it looks so good. Um, this kind of fabric, how it drapes, can be tricky, especially when you have bigger hips and bigger thighs, but I think that the way that it uh, kind of like flows out, I think it actually helps get the illusion of a smaller waist. Um, as you can see, this is kind of wrap. I do wish it was open a little bit more, like maybe right there. This would be so, so much more flattering if it went like that. Um, it's 
three quarter length sleeves and then in the back you also have where it's open and kind of crosses so that's really pretty this dress is a really sexy dress you also have like the gathering kind of like opening right there on the back as well um it goes down it has ruching on the side right here all the way down which i really love and i think it's really flattering um this is a really really great dress like i said i just wish doesn't that look so much better if it was open more like that than for it to be like that that's the only thing i would change about this dress last but not least we have this beautiful white glittery silvery top if i see how like the silver rhinestones are in the top and it's just so beautiful strapless it's elastic in the back um size three i love this top the only thing is that it is entirely too big for me on top like that's a lot of extra room that can go in there that we just don't have so definitely meant for someone with a bigger bust size than me i mean that's that's a lot of room but girl if you have the boobs to fill out this top oh this is a good one. This is like, this is one of those tops that kind of like takes my breath away when I see it. I'm like, this is mine. I have to have it. I have to have it. But unfortunately, like I said, it's too big up top. And I will say it is zip. It is zip. It is a zipper. And since it's just me here, I can't get the zipper up. Um, I don't think, however, it's going to make that much of a difference when it comes to how much room I have. I think it's still going to be the same. Um, these jeans are so incredibly cute. I love the little lace-up detail all the way down, up and down the front of the jean. Um, real pockets. No, no pockets in the front, actually. So no pockets in the front, pockets in the back, though. Um, these are size 24. I would say that they're actually, like, a little big on me. So if you can see, like, right here, it just aren't super flattering so I would definitely want to go with a 22 on these ones um yeah I don't know why I just <laughs> but other than that you know they're good they're cute they are a little long on me um but with the lacing I don't think that they're that bad can I see Bella um so yeah this is the last of our fashion of Vigor haul Okay, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. I love this top. I'm telling you, I wish that I had the boobs for it. It fits so good, and it looks so good. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Fashion to Vigor has some really, really great quality clothes. I love the style of their clothes i can go on that website and be like love 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 i need to work with them i need to work with them fashion and figure hit me up because i would love to work with you um yeah they have some really really cute clothes and wow this was a huge success as far as like everything fitting good except for this um as far as everything looking good minus that uh royal blue shirt that made me look pregnant but it was still so pretty and if you can pull it off girl get it because it is so so beautiful um just so many good things in this haul so i hope that you guys enjoyed as always everything is going to be linked down below i hope that you guys have a super amazing day and if you did like this video you know what to do give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new here or if you just watch and you're a person who's not subscribed go ahead and subscribe girl you know you want to you know you want to um i hit 50,000 last week and i was just so ecstatic and i thank you guys all so much i don't know like i kind of felt like 50 was like oh my gosh i'm like a legit youtuber now i don't know what it is about like the whole 50 and then when you reach 100 you get your little uh, plaque with youtube so you're like real official so I'm just so excited. I know that the next 50 is not going to go nearly as, is not going to take me nearly as long as it took me the first 50, but I'm just excited. I'm excited to see where my channel's growing with the growth and with the growth of the channel and the growth within me. 
and I'm just really excited. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!